Hey guys, Lily back here at Hong Kong FinTech Week and I have the pleasure of speaking here to Mr. Hao Chen who is the Chief Data Officer of China Securities Credit Investment. How are you doing here today, Hao? Very good, excellent. Yeah. So, um, you know, big data is a thing that like, it's a word that we hear about a lot, right? So can you like make that more accessible? Tell us like, what's your job like? Why do you like doing it? What is it uh, like to be a Chief Data Officer? Well, data, we say, it's, it's more like a few, right? Basically, that's the fundamental piece of the today's business, mm -hmm. right? The digital world, you need the data mm -hmm. to essentially track mm -hmm. everything you do and uh, make a judgment, make a prediction. You know, that's basically what the data does. Yeah, it's right? just, it's information, right? It's, that, it's information. That's the building block, the fundamental building block of the digital society. Yeah. And so then, uh, so what is it that you guys are doing uh, with like data that you find most exciting? Of course, you know when you have data and you can use data to solve the the real the real issue or real challenge, mm -hmm. that's where you find okay, data all of a sudden becomes something interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like for example, the company does is you know taking the credit assets, uh, essentially a an asset that uh, that most likely digitalized, right? Mm -hmm. The assets, you can take the assets from the generation phase all the way to trading phase to, to the management phase. In that whole credit, that, the life cycle of credit assets, mm -hmm. that's where the credit service comes in. Okay. That's where the data, what data driven credit service come in. Right. So everything that used to be done offline become an online service. But how do you do the online service? You need the data. Uh -huh. You need the infrastructure. So data become the fuel, become the fundamental building block of that infrastructure. Okay. So all these touch points, all these interactions, uh, exchanges, services that need to happen, right? You're making sure that it's all being tracked, that it's all connected, so that it's usable and like going to be helpful. Is that yeah. what I'm getting? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. We're, we're doing it at a at a at a more aggregate level. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, what you talk about is more of a consumer journey or consumer experience. So when you do buy something at the shop, at the retail store, mm -hmm. at the e-commerce platform, or when you do a consumer finance, do a loan, right? That's your customer journey. Mm -hmm. So your touch points are tracked by all the you know, service provider. Mm -hmm. And we do that aggregate level. So we take okay. that data and aggregate it and at the asset level, we track the performance of the asset and make the investment easy. Okay. So that's what we do. Okay. And uh, how did you get into this world then? Did you come from a finance background? Are you a tech guy? Well, I wouldn't say uh, I'm a tech guy. Well, I'm from economics major. Okay. So uh, I'm not a born data guy or born <laughs> you know, financial guy, right? Um, so I first started my career in the data business mm -hmm. in the U.S. So I worked for the uh, top credit bureau in the U.S., Experian. So I worked there as a essentially a statistician. Okay. Okay. So statistician plays with numbers, you know, doing models, all, all these all these fun fun mm -hmm. things, and then start to evolve into where I'm today, right? Mm -hmm. But basically, you know, no matter you know where I work, you know what I do, right? Well, which field I'm in, mm -hmm. the fundamental skill is the same, yeah. right? Playing with the data, right? <laughs> yeah. do, doing the data business. That's basically what it is. All right. So you know. So many technologies and so many industries are really becoming data driven, right? And so for, for young people who are like wanting to get into this, because I think we need smart people who know how to work with data in the future, right? What's your advice to like young entrepreneurs or people who want to maybe one day be chief data scientists? <laughs> well, first you have to like data, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you are an artist, if you are like a right brain, you know, thinker, and not like me, life, left brain, you know, then you may not like the data career, right? But if you do like data career, you want to be uh, a professional in this data industry, then you need to be good at, uh, you know, math, computer science, you know, all this, you know, statistics, you know, this type of a course, of course, are good for you, right? Yeah. Um, and if you know more, a little bit more about industry, have a little bit better sense about how the economy works, that's even better. All right. Well, it sounds like you had the the great luck of finding the right niche and like doing what you love. Yes, right? absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so, if people want to be finding out about more about what China Securities and Credit Investment is doing, like, what's the best way for them to do that? Well, get on our website. Get on your website. Yes, get on our website. All right. Thanks, you guys, for following along. Don't forget to hit subscribe and get more videos and more great interviews from Hong Kong FinTech Week.